Survival isn't about who's the strongest. It's about who can adapt the quickest. Welcome back, comic fans, to another review on Comic Drops. Today, we're diving into the debut issue of Tony Fleece and Trish Forstner's highly anticipated new series, Feral Issue Number 1. Coming off the emotional whirlwind that was Stray Dogs, I wasn't sure if I was ready to embark on another journey with this creative team. But just a few pages into Feral, and I was hooked again. This issue starts with the tranquility of everyday life, but quickly shifts into a tense, survival-driven narrative. Think Secret Life of Pets meets a rabid zombie apocalypse. It's an intense mix of heart and horror, and we're going to break it all down right here. Let's get started. After experiencing the emotional roller coaster that was Stray Dogs, I wasn't sure how to feel about Tony Fleece's new series. Did I want to take another gut wrenching trip knowing what awaited me at the end? But after reading this first issue, I'm completely hooked. The issue starts with a serene scene of a cat gazing out of a window on a perfect day. The moment feels warm and peaceful, but the word perfect practically screams foreshadowing in this case. Before we even turn the page, we know something is going to go horribly wrong. And it does. The peaceful setting is shattered when we find our cats locked away in an animal control van. And just like that, Fleece is pulling at our heartstrings again. We're quickly introduced to our main characters, Elsie and another unnamed cat, who are searching for a third cat named Lord. As the animal control van rounds a turn, a fox appears on the road. The van swerves, crashes off of a cliff, and flips the story into survival mode. The animals manage to escape the wreckage, but now they're lost in the wilderness, far from home. From here, the narrative ramps up fast. The indoor cats are completely unprepared for the dangers lurking in the forest. Rabid animals are everywhere. A theme cemented when a ghostly cat appears to guide Elsie, and moments later, she's confronted and attacked by a rabid raccoon. The raccoon is relentless, but Patch leaps into action, tackling it into the water. What follows is a brutal fight for survival. And just when you think things couldn't get worse, rabid foxes tear into the raccoon and kill it, and then set their sights on our main characters. And then the stakes skyrocket as the foxes give chase, but our characters find temporary safety in a burrow. In a cruel twist of fate, the body of one of the animal control officers falls from a tree and scares off the foxes. And the issue ends with a cliffhanger. Patch is licking a wound, likely infected, and we're left to wonder what horrors lie ahead. For Feral issue number one, Tony Fleece wastes no time setting the stage for what feels like a twisted, animal-led version of a zombie apocalypse. The narrative is compelling, the stakes are high, and the characterization is endearing. Each of the cats has a distinct personality. Elsie, the optimistic leader, Lord, the daring youngster, and Patch, the protective older brother, their dynamic will surely drive this story forward. And if Stray Dogs is any indication, we're in for a wild ride. Now let's talk about the visuals. Farrell's aesthetic masterfully combines nostalgia with horror, thanks to the impeccable work of Trish Forstner on pencils and Brad Simpson on colors. The addition of Tone Rodriguez only adds to the visual dynamism here, blending his experience from The Simpsons to Mars Attacks to create a uniquely disturbing atmosphere. One of the most remarkable aspects of Forstner's art is how she frames the action. The rabid raccoon and fox attacks are brilliant examples of this. Forstner switches between wide establishing shots to show the danger closing in, and then zooms in to emphasize the raw, violent chaos of the moment. During the raccoon fight, we get tight, claustrophobic close-ups that intensify Patch's desperate struggle in the water, while the fox attack is framed from the cat's terrified perspective showing how overwhelming and inescapable the danger feels. It's a fantastic blend of action, emotion, and tension, making each scene feel alive despite being composed of still images. Beyond the kinetic action, the expressiveness of the characters is what makes this comic stand out. Each animal's design reflects their personality perfectly, 
from Lord's fur mohawk hinting at his daredevil attitude to Elsie's more subdued look reflecting her cautious nature. The expressiveness in their faces during key moments, like Elsie's terror during the raccoon attack or Patch's determination as he dives in to save her, helps you connect with them emotionally in ways that few comics can achieve. And as for Brad Simpson's colors, they are nothing short of masterful. His dynamic use of colors not only complements the pencil work, but elevates the entire story. He uses warm, inviting tones in the beginning to create that false sense of security before seamlessly shifting to darker, more ominous tones as the danger escalates. The way Simpson contrasts the serene opening with the chaotic, blood-soaked scenes later reinforces the narrative's tonal shift. And Simpson's use of red as motif is powerful here. It signals danger and fear throughout this issue. Whether it's the blood streak ground after the raccoon fight or the eerie glow of the rabid fox's eyes, red is used to heighten the tension and signify that something deadly is lurking around the corner. His color work perfectly captures the mood in each scene and complements Forstner's pencils in a way that feels both natural and deliberate. The combination of his vibrant yet haunting color palette and the expressive character designs creates a visual experience that's hard to forget. So Feral issue number one is a phenomenal start to what promises to be a high stakes action packed series. Tony Fleece wastes no time getting into the thick of things, hooking us with a gripping narrative that balances heartwarming moments with brutal survival. The visuals brought to life by Trish Forstner and Tone Rodriguez's pencils and Brad Simpson's dynamic colors perfectly complement the story, adding layers of tension and emotional weight to every single scene. The mix of nostalgic 1980s and 90s animation vibes with mature, dark subject matter continues to be a winning formula for this creative team. From the expressive characters to the masterfully framed action scenes, Farrell offers readers something truly unique in the comic industry. As we follow Elsie, Patch, and Lord through this animal-led, rabid zombie apocalypse, one thing is certain. Survival isn't about who's the strongest. It's about who can adapt the quickest. So if you're intrigued by this premise and want to see where the story goes, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts on Feral issue number one. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our review of issue number two.